Okay, so welcome to the desktop. The first thing you need to do is get a mount you would like to create from, or if you are really good at drawing, you could draw your mount whichever way. But for this tutorial, I'll be tracing out a mount so that you can follow easily and understand how this has been created and made. All right, the first thing you need to do is go to your add point tool, which is this one right here. You pick it up or you hit Control A for short for the shortcut key. And you pick it up and you start adding points to draw out the mouth as simple as that okay. all right now you've been able to trace out the top part of the mouth now it's time for you to trace out the lower part of the lip but you would notice that here is a bit bulgy and here is a bit bulgy so the first thing you need to do is you highlight you pick your select tool and highlight just that point by hitting ctrl p on your keyboard you sharpen that edge and you come to this point also and hit ctrl p on your keyboard and you sharpen that point now for you to add the lower mouth usually i create this in different ways but i have found out that this method i'm about to show you is one of the easiest way to create a mouth whereby once the mouth is moving while you are creating your animation it looks perfectly well and nothing is falling out of place what you have to do is go back and take your add point tool and go to this point here or the point on the other side and start drawing like this then you click it here so what you're trying to do here is make sure you are telling the computer there's a space in between so that it is see-through and you can open the mouth so at this point now you start drawing the lower part of the lip all right if you have that already if you notice there's no point here you can add points and to other places you want to add points you can go ahead and add point but i think for this um, mouth it's okay so i go back to that same point highlight it and hit ctrl p on my keyboard to so make sure that we have a good coverture at that point and we do the same thing here hit ctrl p and we have that and all we have to do is now just rearrange the points to make sure that it fits the mouth perfectly well so all you just have to do is just make sure you align the points perfectly like this and we can come here and still readjust the lip to make sure that it looks perfect realign the lips to make sure it looks perfect okay and we have the lips now you could go ahead and choose the lip color you want whichever color that is best to you now that we have this we can start creating the mouth fully so the next thing i'll do is take off my reference image and start creating the mouth in the next section so now if i zoom out properly you could see what we have right here for this layer i'll double click here and name it mouth and using my select layer tool here which is the transform tool i will centralize using the origin tool here centralize this then I'll use my transform tool and at least bring it to the middle so that I see what I'm doing then I can go ahead and scale it so you see clearly what it is now that we have this I can go ahead to my styles right here and change the color of the lip so I can highlight this and let's let, let's pick maybe a brown or a much more lighter brown so whichever color you want it suits you and what we are creating is something you can reuse all over again and you can go ahead and change the lip color for whichever character you want so let's say you have a series you can go ahead and use the same lip for all your characters while just changing the colors of the lip or the size of the lip by scaling and by scaling all right so the next thing for us to do right here is let's make the lip a bit fancier so what makes it a cartoon lip you know looks real and original you know we add a little bit of gloss here and there and how do you add that if it's a female lip let's say if this lip is red should we do a female lip i think we should go ahead and do a female lip so let's make it let's make it red create shape so i think this is too reddish uh i think this is better all right so the next thing we'll do right here is we'll now have to add highlights so this highlights you just draw it on the same layer using the same method and all we have to do is change the color to white 
make sure you remove the line shape on the character and how do you remove that you hit this and you take your fill tool you click it and make sure you have the checker box in check then you remove strokes like this and also you can also do that if you don't want to remove it through that method you can also use your line width tool to highlight everything make sure everything is highlighted and pick your line width tool and remove all of it but I like to do it with the strokes because so that we don't have any mistakes later in future right so I hit that and I remove the strokes and we have that but if we preview this it doesn't look really good isn't it so the next thing we'll do here is since it's highlighted we'll go to our styles and pick an effect the effect we want to pick right here is the soft edge effect and this effect we might increase it or reduce it depending on how it looks on our you know what we are creating so I'll control R this so you can see that it, it's too much on the on the lip so what we'll do is go back to the tool side of the soft edge and reduce it so let's say maybe seven so control R so you could see how it's looking it's looking a bit better and you just keep adjusting till you get what is perfect for you and you can go ahead and reduce the opacity of the fill so we have something like this and I think this looks much more softer and we can have this in two forms you can have it like this on the lip so let's say we have something like this just to make it more you know beautiful then you can copy this and also come here and flip it and move it to the top part of the lip probably reduce the size like this and we'll have something like this all right so you could see it brings out the texture of the lip and makes it look much more um, beautiful so if we are okay with what we have right here the next thing for us to do is mind you we can also go ahead and you know maybe shade out the lip if we want like by highlighting the lips itself and also come here to shading and you know have a really good shade here and we can you know make it look whichever way we want right so let's say we have something like this and we can also reduce the blur effect or increase the blur effect whichever one we want so you could see it affecting it in life so let's say we have something like this and we can also reduce the texture of the the opacity of the blur in itself and we hit ok so if we hit that so you know we, ha we now have a really good looking lip now that looks a little bit original maybe we need to reduce the opacity of this highlight here and we come here and drop this down a bit and this and drop it down a bit and this is what we have all right I think the lip is looking much more real okay so the next thing for us to do now is you can do this in two ways you can create multiple layers to create the back of the mouth the teeth and the tongue if you are going to use a tongue or you just do everything in the same layer so for this tutorial I will do it in the same layer to make it easier for you to understand so we'll go ahead and create the back of the mouth but what I'll do is create a new vector layer so that I don't have issues when I'm drawing it in here and then I go ahead and create the back of the mouth now the back of the mouth could be black the back of the mouth could be red whichever one you want depending on what you are creating and mind you when you get this file that I'll be sharing with you you could change it to whatever thing you want so while I created the back of the mouth if you notice I switched from soft edge to plain because the back of the mouth I don't want it to be a soft edge I want it to be plain you know more default hard color instead of soft um, color so I'll go ahead and switch it from soft edge which it was in before then I switch it to plain so that I have a more you know hard color then I'll go back to the opacity and bring it back to the top so that I'll have a much more stronger color to work with then I'll probably pick a dark color for this then I'll go to the edges also do the same thing which we did before Control P to create a sharp edge Control P to create a sharp edge now we have the back of the mouth now with this I'll go ahead here and create the teeth alright so I'll just draw like a simple box here you can go ahead and pick a box if you want but I like to draw it out so that um, 
I could play around with it as I want but with this simple teeth you can do a whole lot of things all right so mind you when you are drawing your teeth make sure you have just these simple points in it so we have the white I'll choose the I'll choose white for the teeth because definitely you don't want a black teeth isn't it <laughs> then I'll create shape and I have a white teeth and I'll go ahead and remove the stroke from the teeth using the curvature or I can use this point and remove the stroke like this okay and since we have that all I have to do is control C and control V that is copy and paste to duplicate the teeth okay then I'll bring the teeth to where the mouth is like this then I'll hold shift and highlight both teeth and scale it down a bit so that we have it in the mouth all right so notwithstanding if you notice for the back of the mouth we hadn't removed the stroke also so I'll go ahead and click on the back of the mouth and click on check this stroke box to remove the stroke of the mouth and since we have this on this layer all I have to do right now is keep in mind also if you want to add a tongue you can go ahead and draw a tongue right now then if I want to draw a tongue I'll come above here and just draw a simple circle like this and I'll pick the color of the tongue uh, let's say what was the color of the tongue uh, this yeah I think this pink suits the color of the tongue and we have this so me keep in mind that this tongue you will have to manipulate it later so you need to have good enough points on it so that you'll be able to play around with its manipulation when the time comes okay so all I have to do is now drag the tongue in here and mind you the tongue should be at the back of the teeth not in front so I will select both teeth control X and control V and that's all I need to do so now we have the tongue in at the back and we have the teeth in front so all I have to do right now is control A to highlight all of it and control X then I go back to the mouth right here and hit control V so we have the mouth we have the mouth here all we have to do is now reduce the size bring it here reduce it again bring it here to see that to make sure it fits reduce it enough and we have it in the mouth like this alright so the next thing for you to do here is, is pick your select tool hold control and highlight all this part of the mouth then just hit Ctrl X and Ctrl V. What you have done is that you brought the mouth to the front and this one will easily go to the back. So all you have to do is now hold Ctrl, click and drag around the back of the mouth and drag this behind. Simple, isn't it? So in case you don't understand what I just did, watch it again and again to get the idea. So now we have our mouth complete. Now, if I go out here to test the mouth, if I pull this back, you could see the inner mouth. <laughs> so we could see the, the teeth, which is this one here. It's a little bit confusing, but it's not that confusing. Then you could see the tongue, which is this one. Then you could see the down teeth, which is this one. So if we do this, you could see the mouth is open, the tongue, and so on and so forth. And if you, if you don't want the, the strokes on the mouth itself, you can take that out if you want by highlighting the mouth and clicking out removing the strokes or if you want much more larger strokes on the mouth control Z to undo that you click on the points you want to increase the stroke then you use your line width tool and you know make it look depending on what you are creating actually so the reason why I'm showing you this is so that you can re-edit the mouth as much as you want when you have the full file in itself alright moving forward what you have to do next is let me control let me bring this back to its original form so control Z to bring it back to its original form and we have this isn't it so we'll just adjust it a bit to make sure we are on track now the main animation starts what you have to do is rig the mouth for animation so that you can use this whenever and however you want in time 